Hey guys, Vicario Willis here, and welcome back to another pack opening. I'm only doing this because there's a bunch of light right there, and it's not there if I do this. So I'll just like trim my hand back to where I need it to be. There we go. That way you guys have as much to see that isn't my hand as possible. Right there, that's fine. Alright. Today, we're back for another pack opening, guys. Let me cut to my other side of my camera and I'll show you guys show you guys what we're opening today. Today guys, we are opening the Yu-Gi-Oh trading card game structure deck Synchron Extreme. Right there. Yes, I opened this one to test quality with these cards too. I I only looked at the front one. I actually I didn't even look at the front one. I just opened it so I wouldn't have to like break things trying to open it because I suck at opening things. It took me like 30 seconds to open this. Anyway, um, get in the fast lane with all new Synchro Monsters. Inspired by Yusei Fudo's deck, Synchron Extreme is bringing all new Tuner and Synchro Monsters to keep the streets of New Domino City safe. The new Stardust Warrior stops opponents from special summoning over and over again, and if that happens to get destroyed, summon one of Yusei's powerful warrior synchro monsters like Junk Burrier from the extra deck. There are three of the guys there, I think. Stardust Warrior, and I don't know those two. But here's a complete list of cards. But again, I'm going over the entire deck, so there's no real need to look at them. So, yeah. Let me just open this and get everything out of it real quick. Show you guys everything that comes inside. Oh wow. Yeah, this this card is great. Okay, so from aside aside from the cards. Whoa. That's really cool. Okay. All right. All right. So there's again the list of cards. Um this is the how to play this deck thing. Essentially it says you can um use level 3 tuner and a level 2 non-tuner to summon a cell warrior. And then a level 1 Jet jet Synchron and a level 4 non-tuner monster, I think. Yeah, non-tuner monster to summon a level 5 non-tuner Synchro monster. And to summon the mighty Stardust Warrior, the level 10 Synchro monster Stardust Warrior. Not only does it stop your opponents from special summoning, it special summons a Synchro monster if it's defeated. So you can get Junk Warrior when it's defeated. And... Ro... No. Hold on. Apparently Rush Warrior can double his attack. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything about that card, but, um... Oh. Alright. Stardust Warrior's first effect, if your opponent with special summon, you can activate whenever your opponent with special summon a monster. As long as the chain isn't currently resolving because of new cards and effects cannot activate during resolving chains, you can use it on a Synchro or XYZ or the special summon of a monster like Quick Draw Synchron. But you can't use it when polymerization or ritual spells resolving when the effect of um, to summon Jet Synchron is resolving. Um, the last effect of Stardust Warrior counts as a Synchro summon even though you aren't using any synchro materials to the so the synchro monster you summon can be brought back from the grave with call of the haunted if it's destroyed Okay, a cell synchron has the power to let you synchro summon during your during your opponent's turn Resolving the quick effect does not allow synchro summon instead it resolves You perform a synchro summon before anything else happens even if it's the middle of, res of a resolving chain So if a cell synchron's effect is chain link one Stardust Warrior can negate the resulting Synchro Summon. If his cha chain link is higher, Stardust Warrior can't negate the Synchro Summon. So that's that. It also comes with a rule book, as I'm sure you guys assume. Oh, darn it. 
Mm, that's fine. And then let me get this thing out and show you guys the deck mat. Oh, this is amazing. This will be a pan from left to right like last time. There's um, a Cell Synchron, Junk Warrior, Stardust Warrior, and Jet, um, no, yeah, Jet Warrior, I think. I think. I don't think it's a Cell Warrior. I don't know, though. Maybe it's a Cell Warrior. I'm not exactly sure on what card it is, but... I don't know. Yeah, I think it's Jet Warrior. Pretty sure it's Jet Warrior. I don't know. I'll show you guys. Um, now to what you're all here to see, the cards. Let me just get these popped open real quick. There we go. Oh, wow. Oh, my. I'm just looking through to see where everything is. I'm not looking through it like anything specific. There are some really good cards in here. Yeah, it was Jet Warrior, by the way. I looked at him. I saw his picture. Want to make sure about that. Um, first off, we have... Stardust Warrior. We already read his effects before, but if you guys couldn't remember, uh, you need one Tuner Synchro Monster and one or more non-Tuner Synchro Monsters. That means you need a certain Synchro Monster that's in this deck to summon him. Then there's Jet Warrior, which is a Warrior Synchro effect, which needs Jet Synchro and one or more non-Synchro, uh, one or more non-Tuners. If this card is a synchro summon, you can target one card in your opponent controls and return it to their hand. And if the card, wait, if this card's in the graveyard, you can tribute one level two or lower monster, special summon this card in defense position, but banish it when it leaves the field. You can only use each effect of Jet Warrior once per turn. That's really cool. Jet Synchron. Add, um, when this card is to the graveyard as synchro material, you can add one junk monster from your deck to your hand. If this card is in your graveyard, you can send one card from your hand to the graveyard, special summon this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. You can only use one jet synchro on effect once per turn, and only once that turn. Scrap Fist. Uh, oh wow, um, uh, target Junk Warrior, and if it battles an opponent's monster with this turn while you control it, apply these effects. Holy crap. Double any battle damage your opponent takes, it can't be destroyed by battle. Um, destroy the opponent's monster that battled at the end of the damage step. Your opponent cannot activate or cards or effects until the end of the damage step, and it, if it attacks the defense position monster, inflict piercing da battle damage to your opponent. That's a lot of effects. Holy crap. This card is... Wow, it's weak as hell. Alright. Oh, wow. Whoa. This is really cool. Okay, so... This is very annoying. I don't know why there's so much light. There it is. Now here. Um, tar oh, one tuner and one more non-tuners. This is a cell war This is a cell synchron. Once per turn, you can tr uh, tribute one synchro... Wait, synchron monster from your deck to the grave and activate one of these effects. Increase this card's level by the uh, level of the sent monster, or decrease the level by the, the level of the sent monster during your turn after the during. Okay, wait. During your opponent's turn, the turn after this card resolves, and it's during their main phase. Uh, special summon one synchro monster using uh, materials, including this card you control as to be a quick effect. This is a quick effect, actually. You can. Only synchro summon one a cell synchron per. You can only synchro summon a cell synchron once per turn. If I could speak words, that would be the best.
Whoa. Rush Warrior. Um, during the damage step uh, on either player's turn, if a warrior synchro monster you control is battling an opponent's monster, you can send this card to the grave, to, from your hand to the grave, to up double the monster's battling monster's attack. Doubles it. It doubles the attacking. Uh, oh my gosh! Let me restart. Let me restart that. It doubles the attacking monster's current attack during that damage step to twice its normal attack. You can banish this card from your graveyard, then target a Synchron monster in your grave and add it to your hand. You can only use each effect of Rush Warrior once per turn. Synchron Carrier. Machine effect. Um, during your main phase, you can normal summon a Synchron monster in addition to your normal summon or set. You can... You can only gain this effect once per turn. If another Synchron monster you sent to the grave as a Synchro material for a Synchro summon of a warrior or machine type Synchro monster. While you control this card, you can special summon one Synchron token. Machine type, earth level 2, defense one, attack 1000, defense 0. You can only use the effect of Synchron carrier one, once per turn. Junk Synchron, you can special summon. It's a warrior tuner effect. When this card is normal summoned, you can target a level 2 or lower in your grave. Special summon that target in defense position, but its effects are negated. Another uh, Junk Synchron and Quick Draw Synchron. Hold on. You can special summon this card by sending one monster from your hand to the grave. For a Synchro summon, you can substitute... This card for any Synchron Tuner monster cannot be used as a Synchron, wait, cannot be used as Synchro material except for the Synchro Summon of a monster that lists Synchron monster as a tuner. Okay, so for example, like with Road Warrior or Turbo Warrior, or Nitro Warrior, sorry, or Turbo Warrior, I guess, they all need a Synchron monster. Road Synchron, Turbo Synchron, um, like... There's Drill Synchron right here. That's a good example. When a warrior type monster you um, you control attacks, excuse me, a defense position monster inflict piercing battle damage to your opponent. Once per turn, when you inflict battle damage to your opponent with this card, you can draw one card. That's really good. Uh, Turbo Synchron. There's only one. Okay. When this card declares an attack, you can change the battle pos battle target to defense position when you attack. Wait, what? When you take battle damage while this card is attacking, you can special summon one monster from your hand with attack less than or equal to the battle damage you took. This is a really good card. Um, unknown Synchron. You can, when your opponent controls a monster and you don't, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can only special summon Unknown Synchron once per, per duel this way. Fleur Synchron. Um, I actually have Chevalier to Fleur. I, I think it's a very rare card. I don't know. The, when this card is sent to the graveyard of Synchro Material, it can special summon a level 2 or lower monster from your hand. Synchron Explorer. When this card is normal summoned, you can target a Synchron monster in your graveyard, special summon that target, but its effects are negated. Speed Warrior. During the turn this card is summoned, you can double its... Um, wait. Except during... Wait. Once per battle phase of this card from normal summoned, except during the damage step, you can make its attack double its original attack until the end of the battle phase. Okay, but in 5Ds, it's for the entire turn. That's what I thought, but whatever. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, Sonic Warrior. If this card is sent to the graveyard, all level 2 or lower monsters you currently control gain 500 attack. Doppel Warrior. When a monster is special summoned from your graveyard, except during the damage step, you can special summon... This card from your hand, this card is sent to the graveyard as a synchro material. You can special summon two doppel tokens. 
attack attack 400 defense 400 and attack position okay they're a warrior type dark monster quillbolt hedgehog uh when this card is is wait when this card's in your graveyard you can special summon this card but banish it when it leaves the field you can con you can wait you must control the sing uh tuner monster to activate and resolve this effect okay tuning wear this is tuning wear when this card this card is treated treated as a level two monster when it's used for a synchro summon when this card is sent to the graveyard as a synchro summon draw one card as synchro like as synchro material for a synchro summon swift scarecrow when this when your opponent declares a direct attack you can discard a card negate the attack and end the battle phase this is a quick effect you have to discard this card not a card Level Eater. When this card is in your graveyard, you can target one level 5 or higher monster you control to decrease its level by 1. If you do, a special summon this target. This face-up card on the field cannot be attributed except for a tribute summon. So you can't use it for synchro material when you special summon it back to the field. Wow, every monster in this deck is an effect monster. Effect Veiler. Uh, spellcaster tuner effect. When your opponent's on, on your opponent's main phase, you can send this card from your hand to the grave and um, target and target one face-up effect monster your opponent controls. Negate that opponent's face-up monster's effect until the end of the turn. This is a quick effect. Genex Neutron. Once returned during the end phase, if this card was normal summoned this turn, you can add a machine type tuner monster from your deck to your hand. That's really cool. Genex Alley Birdman. When this card is, oh, uh, if this card is in your hand, you can return one face-up monster you control to your hand and special summon this card. But banish it when it leaves the field. It also gains 500 attack if the return monster has wind, was wind on the field. If its type was wind. Plague Spreader Zombie, Zombie Tuner Effect, when you when this card's in your graveyard, you can put one card from your hand on top of your deck and special summon this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. White Dragon Win, uh, Wyvern Buster, sorry, Wyvern Buster, cannot be normal summoned or set, must be special summoned from your hand by banishing a one dark monster from your graveyard. And cannot be special summoned any other way. You can only special summon a uh, white dragon wyver buster once per turn this way. If this card is sent to the from the field to the grave or to the field uh, from the field to the grave, yeah, you can add one black dragon collapse. Wait, what? Collapse serpent from your deck to your hand. Black Dragon Collapse Serpent. Cannot be normal summoned. You have to tribute a light monster um, when... You can only special summon Black Dragon Collapse Serpent once per turn this way. When this card's sent from the field to the grave, you can add one White Dragon Wyver Buster from your deck to your hand. Limit Overdrive. Uh, return one tuner synchro and one non tuner synchro for you control to the extra deck. Special summon one synchro monster from your extra deck that has a level equal to the combined levels of the two monsters. Ignoring the special summoning conditions, you can um, activate one limit overdrive per turn. Starlight Junk Town. You contribute one tuner monster, special summon a synchron monster from your deck with a different level than the tributed monster had on the field when your opponent's turn if you sorry during your opponent's turn if you special summon a synchro monster from your extra deck target one card on the field uh, shuffle it into your deck you can only use effective starlight drunk town once per turn I'm pretty sure this is a field spell tuning uh, add one synchron tuner monster from your deck to your hand and then um, put the top card of your deck on the graveyard like, put it in the graveyard. 
Reinforcement of the army, add a level 4 lower warrior type monster from your deck to your hand. The warrior returning alive. Target one warrior monster in your graveyard and add that target to your hand. Dark Eruption. Add one dark type monster with 1500 or less attack points. For, uh, target one dark monster with 1500 or less attack points from your graveyard. Add that target to your hand. One for one. Send one monster from your hand to the grave. Special summon a level one monster from your hand or deck. Night Beam. Um, uh, target one set special um, spell or trap card your opponent controls. Destroy that target. Your opponent cannot activate the it's the targeted card in response to this card's activation. Scrap Iron Scat um, Statue. When a spell card is act wait. When the spell card is already face up in your opponent's side of the field and it activates its effect, destroy the card. Also, after that, set this card face down instead of sending it to the graveyard. If this card is sent to the graveyard, wait. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can special summon a drunk monster from your graveyard. Special summon it in defense position. You can only use each effect of Scrap Iron Statue once per turn. All right, we got a few left. Uh, seven, I think? Seven or eight. Um, double Cyclone. Target one spell trap. Spell or trap card you control and one spell, spell and trap your opponent controls. Destroy both. Scrap Iron Scarecrow. Um, when an opponent's monster declares an attack, target the mo target the attacking monster and negate the effect, and after that, put this card face down instead of sending it to the graveyard. Limit over limiter overload. When this card is sent to the graveyard, special summon one speed warrior from your hand to deck or graveyard. Graveyard. Call of the Haunted. Activate this card by targeting one card in your graveyard. Special summon that target in attack position. When this card is destroyed, destroy the target. When the target is destroyed, destroy this card. Imper Imperial, Iron Imperial Iron Wall. Neither player can banish cards. Solemn Warning. When a monster when a monster would be summoned, or when a spell or trap card, or a monster effect is activated, that that includes an effect that special summons a monster, pay two thousand life points and negate the summon or activation if you do destroy the card. Last but most certain, last but most certainly not least, Junk Warrior. If this card is synchro summoned, it gains attack equal to the level of all or level or two or it gains attack equal to the uh, wait equal to the total attack of all level two or lower monsters you currently control and that's all the cards in this deck guys this is Vicario Willis signing off guys see you next time